Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these colorful diamond shaped earrings with a Hitrol stitch. I'm sure that even if you are a beginner with the step by step instructions you will be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell, in this way you will be notified when I make new similar absolutely free tutorials. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions. Check description for a full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 OC beads, dark blue, pink, white and turquoise. Here I'm using earring findings. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12 it will still work and here I'm using scissors and now I'm going to take a little bit more than an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm going to start my work by picking up a stopper bead here. I'm sliding it down and I'm leaving a tail because later I will put my needle on this tail and make some knots and finish my work. Leave let's say 25 centimeters or 10 inches of tail. Now I go through this topper bead just like this. Then I take four of those beautiful really dark blue beads and I slide those down. After that I'm going to take a long sequence of beads and I'll be back to show you the result. Okay guys and what I have here on my thread is the following sequence. First if you remember the stopper bead, then the four dark beads, then here I have five pink beads, a dark, a turquoise and a dark, five white beads, a dark, a turquoise and a dark, and five pink beads again. And here in my last step I have seven dark beads. Okay, this is everything I took. Now in my next step guys, what I want to do is go with my needle through the first pink bead like this. And what I do is that I pull and after that I have this. Then I take three pink beads and as I'm exiting from the first of the five pinks I go here in the last of them. And in result I have this. Then I take uh, this sequence here a dark, a turquoise and a dark and I go in the first white bead, first of the five white beads that I have. Then I take three white beads and I go in the last white. Then again this sequence and I go here in the first of the pink beads. Then three pink go in the last pink. 
and three dark beads and go here in this one that is just before the stopper bead okay now what I have is this you see this sequence now I'm pulling and what I want to do as I'm exiting here from this bead this one I don't go again I don't go again through it but I skip it and go in the next two I'm skipping it and I'm going backwards now this is what I have then I take three dark beads each row I'm gonna be starting and finishing with three dark beads and you see here I have three pinks that are sticking out that I added in the previous row and I want to go through the middle one of them then I want to take one dark and two turquoise beads and I'm going here in the middle bead which is also turquoise Then I take two turquoise, one dark, and I go here in this white bead. Then again, on dark and two turquoise, go in the turquoise. two turquoise and a dark go here in the pink one okay and I take three dark beads and here I have one two three of those beautiful dark beads and I go in the middle one of them in the second dark counting from here okay I have this now guys it's easier for me to flip my work that is why I will flip it like this and now what I do is the same thing that I did from the other side I'm not going through this bead but I'm going through the following two dark beads I need three dark beads and you see here I have a dark and two turquoise this is a loop of three and I want to go in the middle one which is the first turquoise I always start every row with three dark beads okay and now I have three turquoise and go again in the middle Bead, which is the second turquoise counting from here you see this one two three and I'm going here in the middle one and you could tell here where you should go because this rhombus shape is starting to form here I need a dark a white and a dark go again in the middle of the next three beads which is the first turquoise three turquoise and go in the middle of the next three which is the second turquoise here I'm finishing a row that is why I need dark beads and I go here in the middle of the next three beads okay now as you know as you probably noticed it's easier for me to flip that is why I'm going to flip my work just like this 
and what I want to do next is keep the one that I'm exiting out of and go in the other direction through two beads. And when I go through two beads, I'm in the middle one of the three next beads that I have here. One, two, three, and I'm exiting out of the middle one of them. And I need three dark beads, and I go here in this turquoise. I need a dark and two whites, and I go here in the middle one, which in this case is white. Two whites and a dark. And go here in this middle turquoise. Again, three dark beads. And go here in the middle of the next tree and then as you know it's easier for me to flip and then I don't go through this bit that now I'm exiting out of but I go through the following two and I take three and I go here in the middle one of my next loop of three And again, I take three white beads. And three again. And go in the middle of the next three. Okay, I have this. Then I'm going to flip. Okay, and here guys, I'm skipping the one that I'm exiting out of and I'm going in the next two. Okay, three. Go here in the central one of the next three whites that are on my way. And repeat, adding three and going in the middle of the next sequence of three. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to flip my work. Again, what I do is that I don't go through the bit that I'm exiting out of, but I go in the next two and I take three and again I go through the middle one. Okay. Now I have half of my central pattern ready. I will go in this direction because I want to reach the other part of my work. Okay, and you see where I'm exiting through these two uh, dark beads and one dark bead away from the pink one. And this side is absolutely the same like the other side. That is why I'm going to be showing it a little bit faster and with less explanations. <music>
Okay guys, and now my main element here is ready. I will put my I will remove now my uh, stopper bit and I will move my needle to this end and I'll show you how to get rid of it. Okay, and in order to remove this thread, what I want to do is go in this direction through some beads and then here and I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread and I make a loop I go once I go second time through this loop I've made I pull then in my next step I go through some beads in this direction and now guys it is safe to cut this tail thread now I'm here and I'm going to continue my work with my main thread how I do this, I take three pin beads and as I'm exiting here, I don't go through the one that's on my way, but I skip it and I go through the following two. You see where I go. Don't go through the one that is coming on your way, but go through the following two. Take three. Again, don't go through the one that's on your way, but go through the following two. Again. And at this step, guys, again, skip one bead, but go only through one after that, not through two, as you did in the previous steps. Okay. As I'm exiting here, I'm taking three pink beads. I skip one bead and I go through the following. I go only through one not like before through two only here at the angle I go through one everywhere else I'm going through two after I add the three beads okay I take three I don't go through the following one but I go through the next two beads Okay, I'll add off camera three more of those beads, taking three, skipping one and going through two and I'll meet you here. Okay, and I added three more of those as I told you. And here after the last one, I'm still exiting out of two beads, going through two I mean. Then I'm going to take three here and again skip one and go through two. Here, at the wider angle, I do it like everywhere else. Here I have two bead space between these elements that I have. And only here at the narrower angles, I have one bead space between my elements of three. Okay, now I will continue the same way. Take three skip one and go through two three one two okay then i will do this three more times and i'll be back okay and i did these two more elements and now i want to make one more but this time guys when i skip one i go only through one because i'm here at the narrow angle
This is the only difference here, these narrow angles. When I add the three, I skip one and go through one instead of going through two, like I do at the other steps. Then I take three again and I skip one and go through two like I did before. Okay, and I'm going to continue this absolutely the same way. Take three, skip one and go through two until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm here at the last step and I'm doing absolutely the same thing adding this three at the angle by skipping one and going through two okay and now this is finished and i will make an additional row because sometimes uh, these loops of beads here around the edge want to bend that and i want to prevent this that is why i will go here at this one that is sticking out the most I'm taking two dark beads and I go in the following two dark go in the following two dark go in the following and only here at the angles guys I'm going to take three dark beads And I will continue this absolutely the same way. And only here at the angle, guys, I'm adding three beads from both sides of the angles. And this is for all the angles here and here. Okay, I will continue this adding two here, three here, two here and three here and I'll meet you. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last three beads from this row. Okay, here are my three beads and after that I'm going through as many beads as I can. Okay, now I have this. And I'm exiting here at this angle, guys. Okay, and I'm going to pick up the following sequence. A white, a turquoise and a white earring finding and again a white, a turquoise and a white. Okay, then as I'm exiting from one of the dark beads, I'm going here in the other one. And I have this. Then what I want to do is to reinforce this joint. And I'm going in this direction. Now everything is reinforced. You could go one more time if you want. And here I will make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, I'm making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. Then I pull, then I go through some beads here in this direction. And I cut my tail thread. And now my diamond shape earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my diamond shape 
colorful seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and click the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free content thank you all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough for these actions down there in description you will find useful resources and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials you could also support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching